We're moving to Niagara Falls, New York. Okay, so it's been a long week. My room is a freaking mess. So let's take some time to clean that up. So the first thing I always start with is stripping off my comforter, my sheets, my pillowcase, and my bed skirt. Um, something about black sheets. I just sleep so good. So, so mad when all I had was these crunchy ass pink sheets. The goal here is hilarious. So I wanted to clean up my room, even though I'm going to be using it for another like two, three days. So when I come back from my trip, then my room will already be clean. Unfortunately, throughout the week, this desk becomes like the catch-all for everything. So the goal here was basically to address all of this clutter and make it functional again. So what I'm doing here is packing up all the giveaway clothes that I need to drop off at the Goodwill. I just got done cleaning my bathroom. Super happy. I still have to pack this stuff up, but for the most part, I'm done. It is 1.30. And this is the first meal of the day for me. My sister, my dad, and I are going to our favorite place called Ted's Montana Grill in Virginia. We're just going to have a daddy-daughter hangout before we leave tomorrow morning. So just to fill you in, my sister is a medical student. Well, first of all, this is my sister, the one and only Tiana. Um, she's a medical student and her next rotation is in Niagara Falls, New York. And so I was like, okay, I'm coming with you. And my job said, okay, so here we go. We're packing up and we're leaving. What's this rotation again? Family medicine. Family medicine. Okay, so thus far, preparing for this move has not been that hard. Um, I'm actually really happy because I, I didn't know what to expect. But we leave tomorrow. Um, the things that I did was go to Costco. I got some paper towels. I got some tissue. I got some Tide Pods. I got some dishwashing pods. I got bar soap. I think that's it. I feel like I was leaving something out. Oh yeah, you can see they're building houses behind me. Then I took my car to the dealership. I got an oil change. I got my tires rotated. They and basically the normal routine stuff, it was time for that anyway. So that was already scheduled. Um, and then basically just packing up the necessities of what I'll need and a few going out outfits, more comfortable clothes, more like daytime going out clothes, not many nighttime going out clothes. Um, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We leave tomorrow at like 7 a.m. Um, yeah, I'm just so excited. So we're about to go hang out with my dad. I think I said that already. Oh, well, we're about to go hang out with my dad before we leave. Um, I see my mom yesterday and I'm going to see her when she drops my sister off. And I'm just so freaking excited. I feel like a little kid. I'm like, let's get on the road now. Last thing I need to do is get gas um, and start taking down. I'm going to start taking down like the heavier, bigger stuff, which is the Costco brand. Like, you know, everything from Costco is in bulk and it's huge. So... I'm going to start taking that stuff down. I had brought it up because I split it 
um, in half with my dad. So I'm gonna leave half of my dad's house and then we're gonna take the other half. Actually, we're gonna take a little less than half. I wanna get most of that taken down tonight along with like the suitcases and stuff too because in the morning, I just wanna get up, get dressed, and let's go to Starbucks and let's ride out. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm gonna document everything. All we have left to pack is my work bag, that's my ring light, my duffel bag, that tote down there, and then we have one more duffel. Okay, good morning. We are on the road. We have to stop at another Starbucks because the first Starbucks did not have oat milk, they didn't have breakfast sandwiches. So then we drove up a little bit more, but come to find out, it must be something in the area where the breakfast sandwiches are just like, didn't get delivered and didn't get a new shipment. Um, because the next one we went to, they also didn't get breakfast sandwiches. They didn't have croissants. They literally had no bread products. So I got oatmeal for the first time, and then we got our same usual drinks. And now we are on the road. We have five hours and 59 minutes to go. And yeah, we're about to just Pump this drive out. I'm driving first. My sister will take over probably for a few hours. We're gonna get sleepy. <laughs> in a few minutes. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We'll be fine. All right, we'll check back in later. Bye. After having lunch, we decided to go to Wegmans for groceries, and we saw the coolest thing where you get paid to recycle. Kitchen, cute, cute. <laughs> Got my Lysoling literally every single thing. Cute little bathroom. Oh, let me turn the light on. I'm scared to look in the shower low key. Okay, she's clean. She's cute. Bedroom number one. Closet. Cute, cute. Bedroom number two. Okay, so when we initially arrived, all we did was drop our bags, turn right back around, head out, go get lunch go to the grocery store, and then we came back. So this is us settling in completely. We had to put away our bags, and we had to put away groceries too. Because we brought literally everything we would possibly need for the month, we decided to store the owner's things in like one area and then use our stuff in the other areas. Just to make it easier on us, we decided to use paper and plastic everything. Forgive me, sea turtles, but we were not going to lug down actual dishes or actually purchase dishes while we were down here. Here, I was politely folding up the shower curtain that they had because we brought our own liner, curtain, rugs, everything. So I forgot to tell you guys that we found this place through Furnished Finder. I believe they also rent the house out through Airbnb. Here, I was basically taking all of the stuff that they provided, tucking it under the cabinet so it can be all together, pulling out our soap dispenser, wiping that off, filling that up. Same thing with our toothbrush holder that we brought. Our tissue was on the back of the toilet because I looked at that tissue dispenser and I was like, no, it was so rusty. Okay, so now was the most exciting part to me, which was transforming the bedroom. All I can think about while I was doing this was that clip from Gone Girl when she moved into the motel and like stripped the bed of everything.
to the navel of this great country and found himself a newer, younger, bouncer. It was simple, but so cute. Like, I was so happy with how everything turned out. We are so tired. We're about to finish eating the sushi. Excuse me. Watch yeah. a little TV and then we're going to bed because our rotation starts tomorrow. Yes. 